Some of us have avoided receiving mRNA COVID treatments because their use in humans is relatively new, it's, and the long-term results aren't available. But these large pharmaceutical companies really haven't quite earned our trust. Now, what's interesting is a January 11, 2023 Substack article by Dr. Robert Malone, one of the co-inventors of mRNA plan, shows that for at least six years, some of the same companies marketing mRNA vaccines for humans have been developing, and in some cases have already deployed, mRNA vaccines for animals. Now, you may have avoided the shot at the pharmacy, but are you purchasing any mRNA-treated meat products maybe at the grocery store? Dr. Malone exhibits a number of press releases and articles. For example, Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology News, May 10, 2016, published that, quote, Bayer, that's like Bayer Aspirin, Bayer will partner with BioNTech to develop novel first-in-class mRNA vaccines and the therapeutics for animal health indications. The companies said today under a collaboration whose value was not disclosed. Infectious disease vaccines is the focus of one of the three therapy platforms BioNTech is building through mRNA technology. The other two are cancer immunotherapy and protein replacement. The three platforms are designed to produce pharmacologically optimized protein-coded mRNA for targeted in vivo delivery. That in vivo means in the animal. It means not in the test tube, but in the actual animal. Pharmaceutical company Merck has been working on products for the pork industry. Combat current and future swine diseases with sequativity from Merck Animal Health, a revolutionary swine vaccine platform. Sequativity harnesses RNA particle technologies to create customized prescription vaccines against strains of influenza A virus and swine, porcine circovirus and rotavirus and beyond. Merck bought this technology when it bought Harris Vaccines Incorporated, described as a privately held company that develops, manufactures, and sells vaccines for food, production, and companion animals. Malone produces quotes from Iowa State University, which is working on mRNA vaccine for cows. He quotes from Wildlife Society, February 18, 2021, on a COVID-19 vaccine being used on the black-footed ferret. The vaccine used in ferrets is different. It's a simplified version of the Moderna or Pfizer vaccinations now being used for humans, and it's based on a similar protein. Some of us for years have avoided the use of meat products because of the extensive use of growth hormones, extensive use of antibiotics in factory farming. Now, as a Christian looking to treat my body as the temple of the Holy Spirit, I was fascinated to discover a more than 100-year-old warning against meat eating in the last days. What? But listen, among those who are waiting for the coming of the Lord, meat eating will eventually be done away. Flesh will cease to form a part of their diet. We should ever keep this end in view and endeavor to work steadily toward it. We should be educating ourselves to subsist on fruits, grains, and vegetables. That's from Ellen G. White, Councils on Diets and Foods, page 380. Now, the, the author does not, in this quotation, describe how consuming meat products would in the future become unhealthful. But adding genetic RNA vaccines to the meat supply does not recommend it to me. So this might be kind of indirect, you know, like you're getting the growth hormones indirectly, you're getting the antibiotics indirectly, and you're getting the mRNA spike protein and all that business indirectly. Just the same, I don't, I don't really think I want it at all. So anyway, if you're a person who is a meat eater, but you're a person who didn't want to take the vaccine, you might want to reconsider the consumption of meat at least in 2023. You know, grow your own fruits and vegetables and eat them with relish. I'm leaving the modified meat to these guys.